My name is Lisa, and I'm a working housewife who works from home. My husband Garnet and I live in a high-rise apartment. My way of taking a break during work is to enjoy the view. During the day, I gaze at the expansive scenery to relax. And at night, gazing at the beautiful city lights is my daily treat, thinking of it as a reward for a hard day's work. One day, when I was working later than usual. I'm home. Oh, you're still awake. Good. Welcome back. You're late today. I was planning to stay up and work a bit more. Do you need me for something? No, but Tata. Here. I thought you might be tired from using your brain so much. Wow. My favorite ankle lace fruit tart. You mentioned wanting one the other day, so I came home during the day and put it in the fridge. I didn't even notice. I'm so happy. Take a little break. I'll make you some tea. This is how we spent our days, mundane but filled with happiness. Then one day. I'm heading out. I'll buy a lot of souvenirs. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, don't drink tap water, okay? And never put your wallet in your pocket. And then, um... Garnet, you always worry so much. But thank you. I had to travel overseas for work for a week. As Garnet waved me off, I left home and safely arrived at my destination. In an unfamiliar land with foreign languages swirling around, with Garnet's support, I was able to enjoy my work. The day of my return eventually came. When I got back with the souvenirs and tried to open the front door, I found my key wouldn't work. I called Garnet. Hey, Garnet. I'm back, but my key isn't working. Oh, you're back already? A week goes by so fast, huh? Um, I'm tired from the trip and I have a lot of luggage, so can we skip the jokes? I need you to open the door now. Why isn't my key working? I had the management company change the locks, so the one you have won't work anymore. As I was taken aback by Garnet's unexpected revelation, suddenly. Hello Lisa dear, it's me, your lovely mother-in-law. Mother-in-law? Why are you in our place? Why? I live here now, so being at home is only natural. I don't know if you're tired or what, but stop asking silly questions. Wait, when you say live here, you mean in our place? Oh dear, I just said so, didn't I? Wait, why are you? Oh, never mind, I'll open the door for you, just come on in. You'll open it for me. It seems that while I was abroad, my mother-in-law had taken up residence in our home. Too stunned to think straight, I decided to head to our apartment. When I reached the front door and rang the intercom again. Oh, finally. A turtle might have been faster, don't you think? I'll say this up front. You're going to leave this house. What? What do you mean? This luxury high-rise is in Garnet's name, isn't it? So as it stands, you have no right to be here? Even if you call me an outsider. Garnet and I are married. That's bound to end in divorce. I've heard everything from Garnet. Divorce? What did he tell you? That you stay locked up in your room all day. Garnet believed you were working diligently and he's been accommodating and even buying you treats, right? Recently, what's that thing called? Remote something. Work. Well, he thought you were working. Turns out you're just leeching off Garnet, and then you lie about work trips abroad. I can't believe you'd go on luxurious trips alone. What? You seem to have misunderstood something. Misunderstood? Impossible, right, Garnet? Exactly. Mumbling in a dim room all alone. It's really scary and you barely do any chores. Garnet, why would you say that? Basically, we don't need a freeloading homebody like you here. Understood. I'll let you in if you promise to leave. Well, even if we let you in, you'll be kicked out as soon as you pack up. Mother-in-law and Garnet were laughing heartily as they berated me through the intercom. I decided to accept their demands, entered the house, and quickly packed my things. Then, this is all my stuff. I'll be leaving now. Here, divorce papers. Make sure you sign them before you leave. Don't worry. Garnet has already signed them. You just have to add your signature. Once you sign, make sure you file it at the city hall, all right? Thanks for the courtesy. Just to confirm, Garnet is okay with the divorce? Absolutely. I don't need a housewife any ET like you anymore. Understood. Goodbye.
Then, and it's the end of this home too. And, what do you mean? Stop saying things that make no sense. Just hurry up and leave, alright? Don't waste our time. I get that you'll miss me. But the fact that I've signed the divorce papers already shows how I feel, right? Sure, sure. Alright, then. I'll excuse myself, the unwanted one here. Never, ever get involved with us again. Got it? Don't even show your face. Ha ha ha. A wife that's so disliked by my mom is definitely a lost cause. Feels like I lost big on the wife lottery, like spending money and not getting the prize you want. Despite the harsh words, I left the house and filed the divorce papers. A few months later. Hey you, what on earth is going on? Wow, you startled me. Mother-in-law, we're strangers now. Why the sudden visit? We got an eviction notice. It's your fault. We might get kicked out of that luxury apartment. What's going on here? Who are you? Whatever, none of your business, so stay out of it. Excuse me? Sorry, Noah. My ex-husband and his mother suddenly showed up and started causing a scene. You're demanding alimony from Garnet, right? He can't pay the rent because his salary is being taken by you. Alimony? I haven't asked for a penny. Don't lie. Garnet transfers money to you every month, right? And because of that, he can't afford the rent. Well, if he's unemployed, it's no wonder he has no money. What are you talking about? Garnet goes to work every day. There's no way my Garnet is unemployed. He just dresses up in a suit and goes out, that's all. You might not know this, but Garnet hasn't worked since before we got married. What? That can't be right. Right, Garnet. You said you transferred to a major company, Dame Corp, and were doing great there, didn't you? Uh, well, about Dame Corporation. I mean, you know, uh... Garnet has zero salary, zero savings, and yet he loves to gamble. He's just a wastrel. Actually, Garnet hadn't been working since before we got married. However, it seems he had told mother-in-law that he was employed at a major corporation. Garnet, whose story is true, yours or Lisa's? Well. Speak clearly. There's no point in hiding it anymore. I wasn't just hanging around doing nothing. I was seriously thinking about our livelihood and was going out to increase our living expenses. Don't try to dodge the question with big answers. To be frank, I find it strange that you didn't notice even though we lived together for months. Up until now, I paid for everything, living expenses, taxes, insurance. But since we divorced and there's no one to pay, you should have at least received a letter or something. Hey, don't say unnecessary things. You were probably taking bills out of the mailbox in advance, right? Garnet, you've been betraying me. It's not about betrayal, Mom. You just took my words at face value, right? Wow, mother-in-law is something, but you're the worst too. Oh, Lisa dear, seeing each other again like this might be a good opportunity. So could you perhaps reconcile with Garnet? Reconcile? Did I hear you wrong? Oh, Lisa, always with the jokes. Ah, uh, if you don't want to live together, I'm fine living on my own. Who's going to pay the rent for that, living alone, scenario? Well, since Garnet is unemployed, I guess it would fall to the wife, which is you. I absolutely refuse. I bet you'd end up living there permanently anyway. And in the first place, I have zero intention of reconciling. Oh, come on. We were family just a few months ago. Don't be so cold. Wasn't it you two who ruthlessly kicked out that family? But you took everything from the house, right? No matter how resentful you are, that's going too far. I only took what I bought myself. There's no reason for you to complain. Upon hearing that, mother-in-law looked shocked again. Wait a minute, Garnet. You told me you bought all the furniture and appliances, right? Because you said you had a very stable job. We discussed living together. That's why I divorced your father. You know that, don't you? To find out you're actually unemployed. What am I supposed to do now? It's all good. I have a surefire plan to turn the tables. Turn the tables? Yeah, I've decided to demand infidelity compensation from Lisa. Brace yourself. I never cheated on you. Don't lie. Isn't that proof of your affair, living with that man right here? I thought I'd seen that face somewhere before. He's the guy who used to come and go from the luxury apartment while we were married, right? I see. That's so like you, Garnet. 
If she had a relationship with him since before the marriage, it's clear infidelity. So, not only from Lisa, but we can also get a hefty compensation from the man to oh ho ho. Look, I'm Lisa's editor. Ha! Huh. An editor? You think such a lie will work on me? It's not a lie. Just to let you know, I've known her since before she married you. Moreover, I greeted you at the wedding with my editor-in-chief, remember? The only reason he came over was to deliver manuscripts or drop off materials. I've been sacrificing my sleep to work, accusing me of cheating is ridiculous. How dare you say such things to the ex-wife who's been supporting you all this time? Earlier, you mentioned someone being considerate, thinking Lisa worked hard. It was Lisa who was being considerate. Lisa was? Yes. You're the one who's been betraying her all along. Realize it, moron. Oh, my bad, my bad. Since you didn't realize, that's why the notices came. I guess it can't be helped then. After being heavily scolded by Noah, Garnet, and mother-in-law. Garnet, aren't you embarrassed to be talked to like this? Not at all. After all, Lisa was basically just a housewife in E.T., right? She might say she's an editor, but maybe she's just a regular office worker or something. When something like a comic is posted online, Lisa draws it, and he calls it editing. It's just a fancy title for a hobby, right? Lisa is a famous novelist. She easily earns more than 500,000 yen a month. Wait, why are you in Lisa's apartment? Lisa Sensei and Kanzaboro Sensei are currently co-writing here. So, this is a workspace, and it's natural for Kanzaboro Sensei to be here. My father-in-law is an even more famous novelist, earning well over a million yen a month. Lisa has ideas that I don't. That's why I can get various inspirations from her. New ideas come to mind in this way. She's truly an invaluable presence. Hold on. So, the overseas business trip was real. Didn't Lisa just enjoy a solo trip? I told you. I went overseas for research, remember? Damn, I really thought you were joking about that. Why would I be? It was an incredibly important job. Even if Lisa did enjoy a solo trip, Garnet, you're in no position to complain. Whenever Lisa Sensei traveled, did she ever leave you behind? Trampling even on Lisa's kindness. There's a limit to spewing nonsense. This time, Garnet and I just had a tiny misunderstanding, right? Now that we're on this topic, let's all reconcile. Sounds good. I'll get back with Lisa, and Mom can get back with Dad. This way, we can all be happy again. Oh, a perfect happy ending. Though Garnet and mother-in-law were getting all excited. From any angle, this looks like a bad ending. Oh my. How is this a bad ending? It's everything you two think and do. I despise bad endings. I hate them in novels, and I certainly don't want to experience misfortune in real life. What the heck? Just because I'm humbling myself doesn't mean you can get carried away. Exactly. We're taking a step back to make reconciliation easier, okay? Cut the crap. Any more disturbances will hinder Lisa Sensei and Kanzaboro Sensei's writing. Stop relying on someone you divorced. If you get it, then leave already. Please don't say that. I've been jobless for so long, I can't get through any job interviews. Who would hire someone who's been idling around without working or doing chores for years? I don't care about Garnet anymore. Just support me, please, I'm begging you. After teaming up with Garnet for so long, you betray him in an instant, huh? This wasn't supposed to happen. I thought Garnet was dependable. Regardless of the truth, you made your choices. Sort it out yourself. I have no obligation to help Garnet either, so handle your situation on your own. The people could live in luxury condos just with a hobby. Everyone would be indulging in their hobbies. You can't live in such a nice place by just messing around. I thought maybe you were doing something with stocks or something. I've been clear from the start that I'm a novelist. I didn't know you were famous. From now on, I'll become a man worthy of Lisa. No, thank you. Please, I beg you to call off the divorce. Impossible. To my mother-in-law, who told me, never get involved with us again. Don't ever show your face. I'll return those words to you exactly as they were said. Never come here again. While Garnet and mother-in-law made various excuses, naturally, we did not give in. In the end, unable to pay their rent, the two were evicted from the lovely apartment. What's more, when they tried to find a new place, they were rejected because they had no address. Although mother-in-law was job hunting, she couldn't find a suitable position. 
To make matters worse, Garnet's gambling habit persisted, and he even borrowed money from shady sources out of desperation. Realizing how privileged their previous life had been, it was too little, too late. And so, Garnet and mother-in-law lost their sanctuary and led a restless survivalist lifestyle, constantly on the run from debt collectors. As for me afterward. Ah, this interior is exactly like Revolution Road. It's a story that features a slightly affluent 1950s American middle-class household, right? I'd love to live in a room like this too. I'm glad someone noticed. I'm quite fond of it myself. After everything from now on, we're senior and junior novelists, right? Yes, I'll do my best to catch up to my esteemed senior. Oh, then I bet not lose to you just yet. Ha ha ha. Having returned to singlehood, I was enjoying living alone in my ideal room. As always, Noah would occasionally visit and offer various pieces of advice. Moreover, my relationship with the esteemed Kenzaburo sensei continued to thrive, not as father-in-law and daughter-in-law, but as fellow novelists. Life isn't something you can script like a novel. At least, I'd like to have a peaceful life where I can find little moments of happiness every day. Even though that's my ideal, fortunately, I'm incredibly busy with work these days. I hope to ensure my life has a happy ending by continuously accumulating experiences and enjoying every day to the fullest. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.